You know, in a pretty smart marketing decision a couple of years ago, ForeFlight, along with UAvionics, came out with the Sentry line of portable ADS-B receivers to go along with the popular ForeFlight tablet app. The latest in the line of receivers is the Sentry Plus. It's been serving hard duty in the aviation consumer product test pool. It was introduced back at AirVenture Oshkosh this past summer. Now, what makes the Sentry Plus sort of a difficult buying decision is at $799, it shares a lot of the same features as the $200 cheaper Sentry unit still in the Sentry lineup. Let's go back to AirVenture Oshkosh and get an overview from Four Flights Cole Crawford, and then we'll come on back and uh, see if we can't make sense of the buying decision. We're here to introduce our new ADS-B receiver, just launched it in June. This is the Sentry Plus. It's the latest addition in our line of ADS-B receivers right behind Sentry and Sentry Mini. It has all the same features you know and love from Sentry, like ADS-B traffic and weather. It's dual band. It has a WASP-capable GPS receiver, but it also introduces some new things that are not in the original device. It has an 18-hour battery life, which is industry-leading, so you can fly those long cross-countries there and back without having to worry about recharging it. It has a built-in OLED display here, which shows you status information. It'll show you things like your G-load. It has a new G-load feature on it. It'll also show you your ground speed, your carbon monoxide status, all kinds of new things, including whether you're connected to ForeFlight or not. I'll go up and down, you can kind of see it move. Um, it also has an on-device track log recorder with an automatic track log on uh, download feature where it'll download all of your track logs automatically onto your iPad so that you never have to worry about whether you've got that recording and you have them all there for you. And a first for uh, ADS-B receivers, we have dedicated farm traffic alongside of the UAT, uh, the ADSBN. Um, what that means, if you're not familiar with FLARM, FLARM is an, uh, tr a traffic protocol, really popular with smaller gliders and things like that. Our FLARM traffic protocol in the Century Plus uh, supports European FLARM, so this uh, will work for you. If you fly in Europe, you'll see those FLARM targets while you're flying there in Europe, and when you cross the pond, you'll also still see all of your ADSB traffic as well, like you're used to today. It also has an auto power on off feature uh, so that you can have the device turn on when you turn your master switch on and turn off when you turn your master switch off. Um, it retails for $7.99 and we're excited to share it with you all. Let's talk about the buying decision. I'm here with Ken Katz, an active pilot who's got quite a bit of experience flying with the original Sentry and he's helped us out with this uh, Sentry Plus long-term review. Let's talk about two scenarios. For somebody that's got a first generation ADS-B receiver, maybe a real early one, and they're looking to upgrade to something more modern, they choose between the Sentry or the Sentry Plus. That's one scenario. The second scenario is somebody that's already got a Sentry and now comes along the Sentry Plus. And that's where it gets kind of muddy, right? The question is, do you need the extra features that the Sentry Plus has? Okay, so let's, let's talk about those features from a real world standpoint. Start with the FLARM traffic. Four flights missing a good opportunity here by not putting in a receiver, farm receiver that works in the U.S. And farm traffic is big in, in soaring ops. The, the receiver that's built into the Century Plus, the farm receiver won't work here in the U.S. It's European only. So for U.S. ops, that doesn't even come into play. Right, that's what not else? a relevant factor. Right, what else do we have? There is a... Um, G meter function in the century in the century plus and it what it does is it displays the G's on this little display over here I found that wasn't a very practical feature because you have to be looking over here to see what your G's are and if you're flying any significant number of G's you're not looking over like this you're trying to look forward so while it works fine functionally, and I did check that, it's, it's the, the human machine interface is poor. So let's talk about battery life. Uh, that's one thing that's been improved with the Century Plus over the Century. You're a Century user. What did you think of the battery life in the old unit and compared to the Century Plus? The, the Century is, is very good, uh, the basic Century. Uh, I think it advertises 12 hours and I've certainly never run it down over the course of a flight, unlike iPads. The Century Plus 
advertises 18 hours. Well, I didn't run it for 18 hours without charging it. I did evaluate the charge state as, as at least as it's displayed on for flight after using it for quite a few hours. And if you extrapolate it out, it's not unreasonable that it might actually be 18 hours. The question that I have about that, is that actually a practical benefit? You're normally not gonna fly 18 hours in a day before you can charge it overnight. At least I'm not gonna fly 18 hours in a day. So uh, while a, a, a good feature in the sense that it works, I'm not sure that it has a lot of practical operational benefit. Uh, ADS-B in, the FISB, and and the GPS, they all work excellently. Uh, the new Century Plus has got a CO detector, but so does the old one. Right. Uh, I, I assume that it works. I've never had a, uh, a, a warning in the airplane, but it's sure a nice thing to have. Size-wise, the Century Plus is clearly a bigger unit. Probably isn't a factor for most people, although smaller can be better in a smaller cockpit, depending on where you mount it. You can see the difference between the two. It's it's not major. Both fit into the nice pocket on my flight bag. So while this is a little bit bigger, I don't think it's a factor. The Century Plus has a flight data recorder function. I used it. It works excellently. You can download the files and uh, manipulate them on your computer in various ways. So that is a nice feature. Like the Century, the Century Plus is only going to work with four flight. That's right. So if you buy a Century or a Century Plus, you're locked into four flight. If you've uh, already got a Century and you're tempted to buy a Century Plus, probably doesn't make sense. Unless you need some of the very specific features that are in the upgrade, which I think would be uncommon, but you know, certainly could be. Yeah. So they do uh, have three Century models in the four flight ADS-B receiver line, the Century Mini, the Sentry, and now the Sentry Plus. We'll, uh, we'll give you a summary of all this in an upcoming article in uh, Aviation Consumer Magazine. Thanks a lot for Ken Katz for helping out with the, uh, with the review.